Hello good people, it's me Kumo Nawa, your money manager. Today I want us to talk about the different stages of wealth building. These are some of the things that we do in our wealth building mastery program. Remember that we do open for enrollment every year in November. So if you've decided that you want to build wealth and you need somebody to coach you, to handhold you, to hold you accountable and to walk this journey with you, please be in the lookout for the enrollment. So let's look at the different stages of wealth building. Let's look at four different stages of wealth building. The first stage of wealth building is what we call financial stability. What do we mean by financial stability? In this first stage, this is where you are setting the foundation for your wealth building. And in this stage, there are two critical things that you need to work on and that you need to attain. The first thing is having a well-funded emergency fund. Normally when we say a well-funded emergency fund, we are looking at six months worth of your living expenses accumulated to help you cater for emergencies because you know that life is full of surprises you know never know what's going to happen the reason why it's critical for you to build up this emergency fund is that such that once we move now to the stage where we are going to be accumulating wealth we move forward and then if we are hit by emergencies we don't have to stop with the asset accumulation but we have something that we can use to take care of those emergencies this is why emergency building is very critical it's a foundational stage for your wealth building coupled with emergency fund is having adequate insurance in place and the insurance that we are referring to here we are referring to having a life cover in place if you do have financial dependence people who are depending on you financially people who will be hit hard or who will suffer financially if you were to die today then those are your financial dependents you need to make sure that you have an adequate life insurance in place and that adequate life insurance should also come with permanent disability cover here you are also protecting your income because as you start your wealth building journey, your income is the only asset that you have at the moment as you're working on building other assets. So you need to make sure that you are protecting this income and that insurance, death benefit plus permanent disability. Once you have these two things, a well-funded emergency fund as well as adequate insurance in place, we say that you are financially stable. Now you can move to the second stage of wealth building. And that second stage of wealth building is what we call financial security. So financial security you are now building up on the financial stability or what you have achieved in your financial stability stage. Now you introduce asset building to your wealth creation plan. Here, what you need to strive for is to build an asset that will give you enough income to cover your most basic living expenses. But you need to know how much you spend on your most basic living expenses. So you can see here that then budgeting becomes non-negotiable in your wealth building journey. You need to know basic living expenses Expenses. We're looking at how much you're spending on food, how much you're spending on shelter. Shelter here, we're going to look at rental. We're also going to look at mortgage if maybe you have you have a mortgage in place. We're going to look at utilities. We're looking at life insurance. Remember, we've spoken about having a life, an adequate life insurance in place. Therefore, it means that there are monthly premiums that you are paying to cover that. So that is also going to form part of your monthly living expenses. We're looking at your transportation uh, expenses. We're looking at your okay, utilities we have mentioned. We're also looking at internet because it seems like now internet is becoming a basic need, but this one really you can exercise your discretion. So once you have listed these things, you need to know how much you're spending on this. Things. That figure that you have over there is what you need to target to build as passive income. You are going to look at an asset that you can build such that it can generate you this passive income. Passive income that is equal to your basic living expenses. Once you have achieved this, we say that you are now financially secure. Financial security, we meaning that if anything has happened to your job, maybe you are retrenched for whatever reason, then you are not going to suffer in terms of covering your basic living expenses. You have money coming in from your assets that will finance your basic living expenses. Therefore, you are financially secure. And remember over and above this, you do have a well-funded emergency fund, six months worth of living expenses, as well as you have an adequate life insurance in place with a death 
benefit once you have achieved your financial security you now move to your next stage of wealth building and that stage is financial freedom this is the most common stage almost everyone that i meet wants to be financially free and sometimes i ask them what do you mean by financial freedom sometimes i don't get a proper answer in terms of them understanding what exactly they mean when they say they want to be financially free so this is what financial freedom looks like financial freedom you're looking at your current living expenses your current lifestyle how much do you spend on your current lifestyle remember on your current lifestyle there's going to be the basic living expenses which we have covered under financial security and over and above that we do have once your discretionary expenses they also form part of your lifestyle so you now add this discretionary expenses you can also maybe add saving and investing if that is part of your plan and you are now going to come at a figure this figure is based on your current living expenses and this is what you need to work towards achieving now once you have this figure this is the figure that we call your financial freedom number I've done a video explaining how to calculate this financial freedom number please go and visit that video for a refresher so once you have this number of your current living expenses now you look at the asset which asset can I build for me to generate enough passive income to cover this current living expenses remember you already you were working on an asset and this asset gave you financial security it means that this asset is generating some level of income either you're going to look at this same asset and say let me expand if there's space for me to expand let me continue accumulating this same asset such that I can increase the passive income from where it is right now to where I want it to be so it can cover my current living expenses or my current lifestyle once the passive income is adequate to cover your current lifestyle then we say that you are financially free this is the stage where once you have attained it if you choose to continue working then you are working because you love what you do you are not working because you have to earn a living because already you have an asset that is just giving you enough income to cover your current lifestyle so working becomes a choice you have created options for yourself and that's here we say you are financially free this is the stage that I'm working on closing for myself I'll soon be starting my seventh block which will take me towards the attainment of my financial freedom number and if I may remind you my financial freedom number is 30,000 I'm basically looking at replacing that salary that I was earning while I was working so for some people sometimes it's just basically looking at replacing that salary because your lifestyle normally your current lifestyle normally it revolves around your salary or it was shaped by your salary one way or the other but you're going to realize that if you can learn to live very simple lifestyle you're going to realize that you can drastically reduce your expenses and the more you reduce your expenses the your financial freedom number is going to be small and then you stand a better chance to attain that free financial freedom number because now you'll be working towards attaining the small number not this big number so the more you spend on your lifestyle the more you have to build the less you spend on your lifestyle then the less you have to build that's basically what financial freedom is once you have attained your financial freedom number you can now move to the next stage of wealth building and this is financial independence financial independence now we are saying that well now that i've achieved my financial freedom my assets are generating enough passive income to cover my current lifestyle i do have a desired lifestyle so you now you look at your current living expenses and over and above that you add your desired lifestyle expenses your desired lifestyle could maybe in involve some form of traveling so you need to factor in or need to calculate your traveling expenses how often do you want to travel in a year maybe twice how much will it cost you to travel you factor that into your calculations maybe your desired lifestyle will involve some form of giving to some charity how much do you want to give out on a monthly basis you factor that number into your current lifestyle then you're going to have your desired lifestyle expenses once you have that number now you you go back to the same asset or maybe you look at another asset you are going to say I need to build on this asset such that I can increase the passive income that is generating such that it can cover my desired lifestyle or maybe I need to bring in another 
asset that will give me passive income over and above this one that I'm getting from this asset that I have such that the income, the total passive income that I receive from all my assets will be adequate to cover my desired lifestyle. Once you hit that passive income target, we say that you are financially independent. These are the stages of wealth building. What it takes is knowing how much you need to build for each stage. And it starts with your financial stability, your financial security, your financial freedom, your financial independence. Where are you in your wealth building journey? This is all that I had for you today. Please don't forget to leave a like and a comment for me. Continue subscribing to the channel and thank you so much for watching. I will see you in another video. Bye.